I want to give you a, a, a more specific example of fluorescence because you can you can do this you can do you can do this yourself. So let me. Um, you, I want you to learn this because you could go illustrate it to your friends. Okay, so it's it's very simple. All I, all I have here is is just a vial with some water in it. So this is just clear water. All right. Now I have a I have a highlighter here, and this is an orange highlighter. Okay, and you guys want to see this orange highlighter? You want me to do this? Is this better? So this orange highlighter. Uh, you want to make sure that you buy the cheap kind of highlighter, <laughs> okay? Because there's two different kinds of highlighters. There's the no smudge variety, and that's where the chemists have put something in there, uh, some lipids and so forth, so that when you smear it on paper, then you, it doesn't smear very well. But you want to buy the cheap one, because the cheap one doesn't have all that. The cheap one is actually more soluble in water. That's the key thing here. The cheap kind, the, the ones that do smudge, is what you need for this, okay? So this is some of these day-glow molecules we were talking about, I was just talking about, that are, that are inside here. All you have to do is you take the water, all right? Take the water, and then you just stick this in the water for just a few seconds. I'm just running around in the water for a few seconds. Okay? That's all. That's all I need. So put that away for the next demo. Close this little vial. And now, uh, you know, what do you see? Do you see color? Not much. If there's anything, there's a very tiny bit of color. Maybe the people in front, front row can see some color, right? But what I've done now is to put these fluorescent molecules, these molecules that we're talking about, I've put them inside the solution. And now I've got this green laser pointer, okay? So this is a green laser pointer, okay? It's just got a green beam, right? Standard, not high power, nothing very fancy. So all I'm going to do now is to shine this green laser pointer into this vial. Now I'll turn the laser beam on. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. What do you see? What color do you see? Orange. 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 I'm seeing orange. Remember, I'm putting in green light. The, thing, the beam is green. Right? But you have little spectrometers built into your eyes. You can see that this is orange light. That's the fluorescence. These molecules are absorbing the green light, and then they're relaxing a little bit, and they're producing photons, they're emitting light at a longer wavelength. The orange is a longer wavelength than green. So this is a property that's very, very important for detecting single molecules that they shift to a different wavelength. Notice that the transmitted light is still green. Can you guys see that? The light that's coming through, going through the liquid, is, is green, while what's coming from the liquid is orange. It's only taking a small fraction of this light into those molecules to, to produce that fluorescence at the long wavelengths. Okay. All right? So this is fluorescence, and we basically dilute our samples to an extremely low concentration so that there's individual molecules. This is, this is gazillions of molecules in here, but because we have this difference in color between the pumping light and the emitted light, we can block the pumping light very, very effectively and see only the very weak light from the individual molecules. So that's a little demo you should remember. It's pretty easy.